Hello everybody, I'm Vangman427 and uh, uh, I know over the past little while I've been uploading scrap mechanic videos but that's mostly because of well some things have been going on in scrap mechanic not updates uh, unfortunately I think there might be updates coming out soon I hope so but uh, it's mostly been because of well uh, it involves this behind me and well here let, let me explain a story pretty much to explain to you how this came to be, I need to show you this. The sea, ri the sea bound rich. And as you can see here, I had made this for a favorite YouTuber of mine. He, he, d he does this thing where he shows off, you know, people's creations or uh, I think sometimes he might in this case, this one was for uh, creations that he might use in uh, a flooded world thing. And I had originally made this. And if we look at the description of this, you can see here that it says sleeping quarter. Uh, not, whoops, sorry. <laughs> one too far. So it says this boat. Top speed of five units per second. Travels 80 blocks in one second. Click here if you want to see a depth explanation. There is supposed to be a, a link, I think it's more, uh, 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 this video is actually going to be the link, or, actually no wait, there is already a, a, a video on this, on the page of this, explaining how it works, but, I might just actually, I, I, I'll, I'll get rid of that after that, but pretty much, it had started off with this, uh, so I had wanted to, pretty much, give a little bit extra detail about this, and then give a unit of measurement explaining, well, how fast does this actually go? Like, what's the actual speed of this? Because the thing is, since this is using uh, some mods that, again, he he, uh, he allowed us to, because it worked, the boat had to float somehow, so there had to be a mod to let it float kind of thing. So it was using, uh, it uses about six of these propellers, uh, eight of a few stacked uh, rudders, uh, not wings, rudders. Uh, and then it uses, it, it uses a lot of things, and then there's an engine back there. Oh, yeah. Fancy stuff here. Uh, but there's a rudder, or not rudder, engine back there that controlled the speed. And it was set to max, but I obviously knew that these weren't, it, it wasn't going to be a good representation. I can't say exactly. This, wow, one engine speed is worth this amount, which I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out a good way to determine that and I think I'm reaching a, a good point to figure that out eventually but pretty much I just wanted to know the speed so what I did is uh, this has changed over a bit when I was first testing this rail wasn't here this was for later stuff uh, but pretty much what I had done is I had made this big long thing and you can see here that if I put the boat right up against the back without this wood block here uh, that end would fold up a bit. So it'd be a roughly about there kind of thing. And pretty much, this would be five units long. Now, if you're not, if you don't know what a unit is, uh, so it travels 80 blocks in a second. Well, five, that, so it's five units. Well, pretty much a unit is this. So that's the full length and scrap mechanic. So pretty much, uh, that that's the full length you can build. Pretty much the bi the biggest you can build a at a time. The most amount of blocks you can place down at a time is that. Again, it can be in any block. It's just if it's a, a building block, that's the most you can place down at one time. And pretty much, uh, what I had done is this block is sixteen long, and then sixteen. Up and then if you're building up, maybe you know, like X Y Z kind of thing. So this is one unit, so it's 16 blocks in length, just like how a again a, a you know you might have a meter is a hundred centimeters. Well, a unit is 16 blocks. So pretty much 80 blocks might sound like a lot, which it is. It's five units per second is pretty fast. It's still kind of on the it it's it, it it's in the nice mid range of fast to slow kind of thing. It's it's got quite a bit of oomph, but when you think about it, uh, five units per second, and the whole vast majority of things, isn't always the fastest. It's pretty fast, but it's kind of. 
So pretty much what I had done is it's five units. Now you can now you notice that the boat is well five units long. So pretty much in the span of one second. So now, now. So pretty much from the time that I said the the two nows, uh, from the beginning of the word to the end of the word, uh, about ish. It could travel its entire length. Again, roughly, again, give or take a block or two, or maybe again, say you weren't driving perfectly straight. It's the whole, the, I can only get so accurate, I can only go down to the block, and if it ends up being half a block off kind of thing, well, okay, you just kind of round up. But pretty much what I had done is, each of these little sensors is about 16 blocks apart, so that means there's 15 blocks in between them, but then the next block that would count as the 16th is a sensor, and then it would be, it, it, it's pretty much here, you, you can see it here, so. So you can see here that that's the whole, that's, that's the one unit, and then it does that every time. And pretty much what the sensors would do is, there was some mods that would pretty much change it into a switch, and then send it off, and again, they, they, these all do the same, as much as they look different, all, they all work the same. It would send it off to this uh, computer over here, and these antenna blocks, uh, which is, again, there's a mod, uh, would have looked different. They would have been different colors, but I just had to change it just because, again, in this world, it might be causing some problems with some other things and yada, yada, yada. But pretty much the antenna block would be the input. Uh, I'm glad I found the antenna block because then I don't have to stretch these over, you know, vast lengths kind of thing. But it would take that input and then pretty much these top blocks here, so it, it puts it into a... XNOR gate, and pretty much it would be, it'd take the input, and then as long as a, f a switch wasn't flicked or anything, then it would pretty much change the the input, and it would show out, you know, that there would have been a timer here uh, that would uh, kind of deactivate things so that you could, even if you f drove past other sensors, it wouldn't, uh, you know, affect it kind of thing, and then it'd be the whole, these reached marks, so say you went up to here, well that's five units per second, it's, one, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four, five. I don't know I said four. Uh, but pretty much, by it's five units per second. You manage to travel. This boat can pretty much travel its entire length. I can give or take one or two blocks. Like, it's, 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 I got down, like, pretty accurate, and I was glad I made it that way. But pretty much, it can travel its entire length in one second. Uh, now, I would have had a, a moderate water do this but yeah so yeah that was pretty much how it worked and it would mark it off now this system was good and all but the problem was is flicking a sensor might have affected some things in a weird way and it couldn't always be accurate because pretty much what I had made was uh, there's something called oh, fruit fly in here I don't know why oh, that was weird but anyways Pretty much what I had made was fake bit memory. Bit memory is something where it's it's pretty much how computers store little things. Or it's like two transistors. It's pretty much uh, here. Let me show you. Uh, pretty much how it would work is it's two NOR gates. Where here, if we read the NOR thing, active if all linked triggers are inactive, and pretty much that's how regular memory would work but they'd be connected to each other and then connected to something else or again other memory things but since in scrap mechanic you can't you can't connect the two together because that just disconnects them so what you have to do is you have to put an OR gate so active if any link things are triggered and then what you do is you hook it up uh, I believe it would actually be like that and then here let me put down a switch here and a switch here and then I could connect this here connect this one here and then imagine again this being the input so I press this button it switches over I press this button and I can press this button as many times as I want so I can go past again like those sensors as many times as I would want or something or activate as much as I want and it still won't do it and pretty much that did, that had been what I ended up trying to create over there, but it just didn't work the same because there was a switch block that allowed you to switch, but again, you could have too many inputs and bumps and things like that. So this was more reliable, and as weird as it sounded, even though the blocks were more compact, I'd have to I had to add more extra blocks to make it work properly. That it was just so much easier to go with this, and 
usually what, what can happen when these particular blocks spawn in, say, on a lift, is they might not hook up properly. So uh, they, they, they may kind of, like, start to flash. So what you do is you connect these like this. There's this aura and a nor gate, and then you connect an output to that. So pretty much what this does is it doesn't activate the AND gate, but if you're spawning in a creation with these uh, bit memories, what it will allow, what will happen is it, instead of creating pretty much like an infinite clock, it'll stop it from creating that. It, it may blink for like a second or two, but then it'll just stop and pretty much fix itself. So that ended up, th that before I knew how to create what I just showed you, I had to pretty much make a fake version of that. So this was the uh, pretty much the original version for that. Here, let me just delete this then after like again this is over like the course of like five six ish days that this had been happening uh pretty much after i'd figured out this uh i had wanted to make 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 it smaller make it more because again as much as i could de determine the speed okay-ish with this it's almost uh, honestly the best way i can describe it to you is Imagine, like, again, the way humans have advanced with technology. So we went from, again, having to take a meter stick or something and, you know, go across the ground and then mark things off. And, you know, occasionally, if you we were lucky, you'd have a camera to take a picture every frame or so. So, you know, it would be kind of before computers. Then we'd go from computers taking up literally the size of rooms to, well, this next one that I, I'm going to show you. Uh, that literally, as, as of yesterday... Uh, became obsolete, so it's only been, uh, I guess, kind of out there for a while. And pretty much what I had done is, so it's it's a working s speedometer, and you can see here. So max registered speed is ten units per second, and one units. So yeah, already explained that to you. And pretty much what I had done is, along with, uh, well, the ship I had posted on the. What is it? Uh, the ship I had posted on Steam, but I hadn't. Uh, I, I I had put it up for the you know the square mechanic thing and the whole. Hey, I want people to you know want to see a square mechanic look at it kind of thing. Uh, but what I had also done is in that video I had explained how I had determined the speed, and it was with this big one. But then. What I had done is I had wanted to try to make it smaller. Oh, come on. You can... Okay, I guess I'll show it to you this way. So I tried to make it smaller. Now, this there's, there's going to be one after this that I'm going to show you. But pretty much what it had been is I had literally just decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to condense this down. I'm literally just going to pretty much make everything smaller and then put a fancy-ish kind of thing outside. It's not actually that fancy kind of thing. But pretty much we press this button labeled P. It's green. It's power. Uh, this would be touching the ground, it's just that I placed it one extra block above there so the pistons wouldn't be bending. And pretty much what you'd do is you'd have your creation start about right in front of this line, and then you'd just drive off, and then you'd go past these sensors. And in this case, uh, because of the fact that it wasn't sitting properly, it didn't activate them. Again, it does actually work, it's just the whole, it's really finicky. Now, one thing you can notice is... When I mentioned the whole making it literally smaller than this bigger one over here, this one had a problem where you'd have to pretty much, there would be a master reset button, but that'd only be useful if all of the inputs of the sensors were at the same one. So let's, let's say you had a creation that goes one unit per second, which is kind of slow. Well, then I'd have to go individually reset it, because even if I click the master reset, it won't work. The good thing with bit memory is eventually it does, and I'll show you that. So as you can see, there was a, 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 a little siren that went off, and pretty much the first sensor activated, uh, again, pretty much the same circuit here, and you can see it here, again, with the antennas and everything, and then uh, it activates a light, and it would bring up airs, and it was just really complicated. This would be like, again, like the... So th this would be when cu computers, again, first came along and were the size of rooms. This would be more, you know, late 80s-ish kind of thing that computers were getting smaller, but they weren't very powerful. And this one was very finicky and was accurate, but again, very weird and finicky and again, didn't work because I was using uh, interpretation of, again, bit memory and wasn't very good. And there was an, 
an invert button that you had to do because pretty much every time there we go like if it, it wasn't exactly perfect and you can see here I have to flick that so now I can see it that way and then I have to reset this and then I have to press that and it was just really finicky and like really unnecessary there was too many steps and it just it wasn't really good and when I had uploaded it, at the time when it was a thing it was you know it was really it was really pretty accurate just because it was like a, one of the only good speedometers uh, and then I had uploaded that with to the scrap man discord thing and somebody was like wow hey that's pretty cool now it, if you can try to make it smaller or see if you can like put it onto a car then you would be like that would be like revolutionary kind of thing and I'm still trying to see if I can fit it onto a small car but it may not look like that's going to happen just because of the the physical limitations of the game like again I can't physically make things smaller uh but that may change again I may just not know enough about this game to do that so now we're going to move on to the final incl inc inc inclination or inclination I don't know the final version of this speedometer, which is the most recent, the most accurate, and just the most precise one. So, as you can see, I gave it this kind of funky red and... not red. Orange and black kind of theme, just... Oh. There we go. So, I gave it just that... I gave it that kind of funky theme just because I thought, you know, hey, might as well. So, pretty much... Uh, with uh, all these smaller ones, you do the same, you, you weld it. There we go. And pretty much how this one works is this is using the bit memory. So it's more complicated, but it's more compact and more uh, effective and better. Now you can see here that the numbers, so pretty much the closer you get to the red, the slower you're going. So you can see it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 kind of thing. And then it's units per second, when you, 16 plus equals 1 unit kind of thing. So pretty much this is the on symbol, so it's 1, 0, because anyone computers, it's off kind of thing. Uh, this is go and stop. So pretty much what happens is, if I was to press this button, it would start that. And then I can do that to reset it. But what the go, oh, if I press the stop button first, it just stops off immediately at this one. Uh, and it's, it's, it's pretty much like a, a manual thing for what these sensors do. Then if I hit go, it just continues and then I can stop it and pretty much what this does is it rounds off to the nearest unit or again in this case it'd be partial second because this is about uh I believe no yeah this is actually I believe it's actually one second yeah uh but pretty much it, it round off to that and then I can just reset it and then I'll hit start but pretty much how you'd use this one is when you'd first load it in it would do that weird read that weird boot up thing just because of the way that the buttons ended up being placed and it was it was honestly just my fault and I can't really go back and switch a bunch of things thankfully it's only on the buttons but it's just like Ugh, so much stuff but pretty much what you do is you'd boot it, it, it end up you know booting up and you just you just press the off button and then you press the stop buttons this way when you press the on button it starts there and you can see here look at that the chat, uh, the, I guess you could say the main brains might be about this, like I could actually make this a block smaller and just get rid of the bottom and then move these buttons up like one more, but I just kept it like that just to make it a little like fancier, like this could be a little smaller if I wanted to kind of thing, but pretty much it's, you do that to extend this arm and then you, you do the, you load it in, you press the off button and you press the stop button, then you press the on button and then I'll just walk past this let's say and you can see here that a siren didn't go off now this says I uh, went about again give or take I probably might have gone slower I was probably going maybe again five and a half or six this this rounds up uh, or actually sorry rounds down uh, or it, it rounds to the closest unfilled bar kind of thing just because I could get more accurate I could get incredibly accurate but it would be very long kind of thing like this this creation could be very long and very big but I could get extremely accurate like down to the block kind of thing but pretty much that was saying I was roughly going about five blocks per second which I'd probably actually be more going about six because you can see here I didn't exactly pass it so this one 
is accurate. It just, the way it rounds up and down is off by a little bit just because of the way that this circuit works, but it does it, it display it so you do get the two speed kind of thing. And again, this one's simpler. You don't have to pass each individual next unit measurement kind of thing. Is It's pretty much, it's just a timer that's timed out a certain way where if you manage, if, if, if you pass it, if you don't even can't pass this, I don't know. It's it's hard. it's easy to understand when you understand it, but it's hard to describe it to you. Pretty much, it's so. There's the stop and start button here. Pretty much, this sensor over here is tied to the start button uh, unit uh, computing part, and then uh, sorry, the go button, and then this one is that one's tied to the start one. So it's pretty much it's. Uh, I can reset it. Oop, do that, and then. Sorry, I just, I, I went past the sensor in a weird way. So yeah, th this one's just, like, again, it's it's smaller, it's more accurate. Uh, and I mean, like, again, it's, yeah, so this, this is the most recent incarnation. And this has only been over, like, the past couple of days that this has happened. So yeah, so if you guys want to see a, another video about this, or again, videos... Like this, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, this, uh, there'll be a link to this in the description if you want to go uh, try this out yourself. And uh, yeah. So, either way, if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, button, if you want to see more of my content, remember to subscribe and leave a comment down below as it is appreciated. Either way, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!